Hi, my name is Martin and today I will show you the current state of my animal, which is called RPG Tools. It lets you create custom RPGs like Diablo or Baldur's It's currently in progress and I will show you how to do the initial setup today. So this is the main page of my tools and here you can find the zip file. So let's download it. It's not that big. And then you can extract it to any folder you want. So I will just remove the old installation and paste it here to show you how it works when you start it for the first time. So you need to start RPG Tools executable and in my case Windows asks if it's secure to run it because it's not a trusted publisher. And then it asks you for a folder which contains your images. And um, I can show you my setup. So I have a folder for all images from PV Games, which I download from Patreon mostly. And I just use some high level categories on the top level. For example, for animals and pieces. And, but you can categorize them as you want. Important is that you keep the folder structure which you downloaded from PV Games. So for example, when you download a character like the female knight, then you should keep all the subfolders as they are because the tool uses the names of the folders and the names of the images to find the proper images, for example, for equipment. So that's one thing you shouldn't change, but besides that, you can categorize them as you like. So the tool asks for a folder and then you can just pick this one and the tool will find all subfolders in it. If nothing goes wrong, then you should find everything in this folder. And as you can see here, there are tons of units and, and animals and stuff like that. And by default, the tool starts the character editor. And here you can filter by units, pieces, monsters, and equipment. So for example, if I just want to see units, then I can just check these. And here you can browse all the animations of this unit. And change some settings like the direction or the scaling. And the most powerful feature of the character editor is the, the feature to change the equipment. So for example, I can choose the female assassin and then change the equipment. Maybe we use the bust to see it. A bit bigger. So let's add something else. Here. That's that. You can toggle the visibility of each part here. Okay, in this case, it seems like it's not visible in this animation. Okay, here it is. But I don't want to have that. Yeah, you can play around with that as you want. And then you can also change the color of each equipment or the color of the main character. And you can also change the use separation or value settings. For example, here you can see how the 
color of the main character changes or you can reset it here to default and for the sample I will just change the hair color to red and once you are done with your character you can save it if you want it's saved in a JSON file so it's human readable and you can easily share it with others if they have the same character folder on their machine then it will also be displayed correctly in their version of the RPG tools. And if you work with any other engine or if for some reason you need a sprite sheet then you can export it here. So you go to tools export and here you can choose choose the mode. By default the mode is frames which would export one frame one PNG per animation frame, but most of the time you want sprite sheets or custom feeds. Sprite sheets is the easiest way to export it. It will, will generate sprite sheets in a defined order, which I can show you here. So it should open the folder and then you can see that it has exported the PNG file with all animation frames in all eight directions. And the same for the second animation I activated the walk animation in this case. But if you want to have more control then you can then you can click on custom sheet. Here you can configure every sheet you want to have and then the animations you want to to have on this sheet I'll we'll just show you quickly how it works so in this case I just add two animations and one direction on one single sheet and it's called warp and it has exported this sheet in this case just to give you a quick demo how it works so that's it for the quick introduction and next I will show you how the other editors work.